Uh, it's been quite a run of weather, uh, 80s over the weekend. We cooled a little bit yesterday, dropping all the way back to 72. Still a beautiful afternoon. And actually with the yesterday 72, we've actually tied a streak of the longest number of 70 degree or warmer days uh, for the month of April. We tied the streak set back in just in 2016 for that matter. We're both at five days right now. See our warmest temperature uh, in April ever occurred back during that streak in 2016 on the 8th. 18th. However, this one may last longer because it looks like today and tomorrow we're going to be back into the uh, low 70s out at SeaTac. So we'll probably stretch this out to maybe an entire week of 70 or of temperatures, which is pretty amazing. Unfortunately, it's just nature's way of tricking us and we'll settle back into regular spring weather. We probably won't see a stretch like this again until we get into July. Take a look outside, though. It's been a beautiful day from uh, early this morning on through. We did have a few low clouds early down in the south, down and up towards Whidbey Island and the coast, but otherwise nothing but sunshine out there. Just a really good looking day and it's a really good looking afternoon headed our way, as a matter of fact. Taking a look at our uh, satellite image, you can see a little system brushed by us has been giving us some high clouds. That's what cooled us off from the weekend, but it's taken its precipitation down there into southern Oregon. Oregon. Checking the uh, high resolution model, you can see basically just looking at uh, sunshine, north winds today, and then as we head towards overnight tonight, we'll stay that way. We'll see a few clouds develop overnight, but mostly just high clouds for most of Wednesday. And then as we head towards later Wednesday, we see that onshore flow start to increase. We'll be looking for the clouds to kind of roll in overnight for uh, Tuesday night into uh, Wednesday, into th excuse me, Wednesday night into Thursday. And we're going to be looking for things to uh, turn quite a bit cooler for uh, Thursday and Friday before they turn wet over the weekend. Up in the mountains, though, beautiful day going on up there. Still some pretty nice spring skiing. Certainly plenty of snow up there. And you see a good looking uh, day at uh, Snoqualmie Pass. Taking a look at our North Cascades Highway, though, from DOT released today. They're plowing away, trying to get that open here soon. You see they're making some progress. Looking pretty good there. Looking like a beautiful day to be there working in a snowplow, for that matter. And you can see making a little progress. Still going to take time. And they won't get it opened until they get the entire highway cleared out. And they still have a little bit of maintenance to do on it. So not going to be open right away, but they are making progress. Mountain forecast does call for sunny and mild today. Afternoon past temperatures melting some of that snow off mid 50s to near 60 degrees. We do have that avalanche danger in the afternoons from the warming snow makes it a little bit more dangerous in the afternoon for travel and checking the uh, the uh, coast. Uh, the morning clouds burning off now becoming sunny this afternoon mid to upper 60s for the highs. And if you're headed out to the Mariners game here coming up uh, in the next hour, well, looking pretty nice. Temperatures should warm by then into the mid 60s to near 70 degrees. A great day for a ball game and checking uh, generally around Puget Sound. Mostly sunny today and tomorrow. Temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s for Thursday might be a little bit of morning drizzle and clouds, but then partly sunny, mostly cloudy Friday with rain moving in Friday night, kind of a rainy day Saturday, showers and sun breaks Sunday and Monday, and high temperatures over the weekend plunging back to the mid to upper 50s. You knew it couldn't last.